Hi, my name's John Cordy, and up until Brexit, I had this kind of spread triad thing down, but now uh, I've had to relearn everything uh, outside of the EU trade bubble, and I'm finding it difficult. So anyway, the reality is I've been working on these spread triad things for a few weeks now. This morning, I thought of a, another useful thing to try, maybe, that you might be interested in, particularly if you're interested in spread triads. Uh, so Thomas, I'm looking at you specifically. So I was thinking, what about if we applied some of this stuff to like all the things you are? And I thought about this in two ways. So the first way is the more simple way. And then the second is, it's kind of putting together a slightly more complex idea. So here's the first idea. So what I want you to do for each change is pick a spread triad and then pick another spread triad, the string below. So for the first spread triad, I want you to use the E string for the root or whatever inversion you end up using, but use that string set. And then for the second, ideally, we want to be using the A string for that. Obviously, if I start my F minor there, I can't really get that third, so I guess I'd have to do the F and then the second inversion with the C. But ideally, what I'd want is to do something like this. do elsewhere so let's try and do it kind of slowly so F minor so two per change right and then B flat minor E flat major A flat major D flat major So then we start from the C minor part, so C minor, F minor, B flat major, E flat major, um, oh that's wrong, then A flat major, then A minor, Patreon as well um, but I think that's quite a soothing and relaxing way to practice it um, and it's helping me to kind of visualize things and I don't know it doesn't feel too much of a chore to do it like that so just quickly again all I'm doing is starting with uh, one of the spread triads on the E string so it could be one of the inversions equally that playing one of the spread triads potentially an inversion but starting on the A string so that string set and then that string set and I'm doing that through the entire tune taking as long as it takes however long that takes me and I'm not necessarily planning any of this I'm just finding it and that's kind of the practice of it um, you could write out an etude for yourself and you know potentially you get something out of that as well but for me, I'm trying to explore in spontaneous, kind of real time, that kind of idea. The next idea that came to me was this. So I wanted to have eight notes and obviously this is just six. So that kind of thing. So add two notes that are approaching the arpeggio that you're gonna end up with or spread triad. So string sets for this example, I'm using the E for the, that lot, and then just the octave above, starting on the D, that's what I'm going to be doing as the pattern for this one, so. So jump up the octave, and I know that I need to land on a B flat minor, or an inversion of it to end with, so I'm going to go D flat, C, down to the B flat. I need an E flat, I think. So first inversion. And then I need an A flat, so C, B flat, A flat. And then I can 
do the same again because I'm gonna do a D flat in that inversion, second inversion. And then I need a D minor, I think. The, the D minor, I need to figure out a way to approach that. approaches from below so uh, let's just demonstrate that again slowly so C minor and I need to land on an F minor triad so I approached from beneath uh, what do we need next we need a B flat or scale wise also works so F E flat D there on a first inversion of the B flat, and then two notes below for the E flat, then going above, and then what do I need? I need an A minor. For the approach to the A minor that I need to land on from this E flat, I think approaching from below. That's kind of what I think I want to kind of write some exercises around and that's what I'm exploring today. Uh, you're just seeing me working this stuff out in real time so sorry if it's a little bit all over the place but that's what I'm thinking might be worth practicing. So F minor, that's the first exercise, just chucking two spread triads together, one on the E string, the next one on the A string, so F on the E string, C on the A string, A flat on the G string. And then for the second triad, I'm using this string pairing. So C on the A string, A flat on the D string, and F on the B string. So that's kind of the, the parameters that I want to find those arpeggios in. being that through practicing this I'll be able to connect up shapes better and the second approach was to play two octaves of the spread triad and then use two notes to interesting to at least one person that's just what I've picked up a coffee and started practicing this morning I just wanted to share it because I thought potentially that might give something something to work on and might be slightly interesting thank you for stopping by if you wanted to like and subscribe you could I'd really appreciate it and uh, yeah hopefully that was useful cheers oh and of course you can get the tabs for what I'm doing I'll write out some of these ideas up on patreon if you want to do it, there'll be two kind of key exercises where I'll take those spread triads through the entire all the things you are changes 
um, something to practice and I think that'd be quite cool. Cheers.